Hello guys and welcome to the ultimate guide to BRC20 ordinals and everything else Bitcoin. And by the time I'm recording this, there are already other standards like BRC, CBRC20, there are SRC20s and on and on. So what I've decided to do is to create a series, a playlist of videos that will help you to get into the Bitcoin ordinal space as soon as possible because as you have seen the success of Audi right now trading at $52 per token after listing on Binance with a market cap of just over a billion dollars this token was literally minted for free you could get it for no money just months ago and the same with sats which you have also seen we, we were discussing these tokens in crypto universities alpha group months ago we we're minting some of them for free including sats and now it's worth a lot of money market cap also just over almost about a billion dollars and it's up 23,000 percent in the last five months so there's definitely something and we can also look at things like the bitcoin frogs these are inscriptions ordinal in inscriptions which are now worth 0.28 bitcoin just above ten thousand dollars but months ago we were buying these for thirty dollars two hundred dollars for those of you who are in our crypto university alpha group may know so if you're watching this video this is the first of a series so make sure you are able to watch each one of them um the next upcoming videos as well to not miss out on anything my name is gray and you might know me as lordinos as well on twitter if I am doing something to do with Ordinals. So let's get to it. Many of you don't know where this whole Ordinals thing actually started from. So I can show you something that will help you understand where does this whole Ordinals and BRC20 started from. So Casey, who has been awarded the best man of the year, according to Coinbase in crypto, he is the one actually who started the fire. So the Mr. Paul Zotork, I believe that's how it's pronounced, said very few Bitcoiners understand the fee problem. So Casey came in, this was in January, 20, uh, January 2022. He said the potential, number one, the potential problem of declining block rewards and thus security is one of the few things in Bitcoin's long-term future that I'm extremely concerned about. If I were Satoshi, I would have created a fast head emission for 10 years or so, and then a constant by amount or percentage of the money supply tail emission instead of the current precipitously plunging halving cycle. However, we have to work with what we have as the 21 million limit probably cannot be changed in a way that does not erode or destroy the value proposition of the network. So what do we do? stimulate demand for block space, come up with new ways to use Bitcoin, new ways to use L1 and bring things from other chains into Bitcoin. Five, I wish the copious demand for NFTs translated into demand for Bitcoin block space, which is one of the reasons why I'm working on a Bitcoin native NFT scheme. This scheme, which assigns serial numbers called ordinals, ordinal numbers, to Satoshi and tracks their movement across transactions can anchor many types of tokens such as NFTs, security tokens, and the like. I don't know if it will work or have substantial benefits over other schemes, but at least I can try. Little did he know that he created fire. And now we're talking about ordinals worth billions of dollars. So guys, what it means is basically um, the ordinal is a new way a new innovative way of attaching data on top of satoshis so think of it when you're sending money the bitcoin blocks are usually filled with transactions of money only you're sending bitcoin from a to b that's what bitcoin does it only does one thing until casey came in and figured out a way of attaching other data like images um, audio files, even code, JSON files, onto Bitcoin Satoshi transactions. And that basically created a new wave of Bitcoin-based tokens, which are, are known as BRC20 tokens. 
and then also audio inscriptions, which are more like the NFT side of it. So that is basically the gist of what's going on. So when you look at all these monk, what, all these frogs are basically attached to sat real satoshis on top of the Bitcoin network. And currently in the Bitcoin space, there is a lot of discussion about, especially from Bitcoin maxis, are not happy that people are using the Bitcoin network to transact JPEGs. They think that will destroy the network. And that has led to a new innovative approach of other token standards like um, SRC20 and CBRC20 tokens to basically erode or to find a way for these kind of things to exist on Bitcoin just in case Bitcoin Core decides to prune or remove all these JPEGs and make it impossible for this kind of thing to happen. So that is a small history of, uh, a little history of Ordinals and how they got started. So when you look at Ordi, you're looking at a token that is basically operating on top of the Bitcoin network. And when you look at um, a bitmap or an NFT like the frogs, you're looking at NFTs that are on the Bitcoin network. That's why you pay them in Bitcoin as fee. Now, in the next video, we'll be looking at creating wallet, a wallet because for you to be able to transact, you will need what we call a taproot wallet. It's a Bitcoin wallet, wallet but it needs to have taproot enabled. So in the next video, we'll be looking at creating a taproot wallet to be able to transact and buy, sell, ordinals and succeed. Let's get to it. Remember to take notes and also remember that this is not financial advice. Thank you.